Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, team. Thank you, John. Hey. Oh, my goodness. Oh, mute. I thought we had, we were on. I was, I unmuted. Hi. Oh. Hi, John. <laughs> Hi, kids. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was wonderful. See, Rob, Rob and Ann are my brothers, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and your dad. And your dad. Those whirly and birds. Mom. And your dad. And your, and your mom. And your sister. Well, <laughs> thank you. That was wonderful. Thank you so much. You you are welcome. Hey, um, Gre Greg, did anybody have something to ask? Because I'm happy just to clam up. <laughs> I didn't see any questions, but you can open the floor now. Yeah, if you got, if there's something I can, I'd like to thank you all again. It's like I said, it's overwhelming to be with you all, and it sucks, but it's great to be together. Um, can I just say, I just want to say something. I don't have a question, but I just want to say that I love the way you find these marvelous stories embedded in the ordinary moments. And that's, that's all I have to say, but I really, I love that. Uh, and I appreciate how you shape them um, into your poetry. So Diane, you mean like hauling junk tractors off with a uh, whirly bird, stuff like that? Well, you know, I've seen your work for a long time and there's a lot of stories that you find and as you get older hauling junk out of your life becomes a like theme with a capital T so <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm sitting I in my study slowly <laughs> dying of accretion yeah well there's that and rats <laughs> anyway I just wanted to thank you I don't have a you question bet. thank you Diane thank I really you. appreciate that yeah I don't have a question either but I wished I'd written that poem uh, you wrote about your mother because I think you know how much I write about my mother. And mm. oh, it just made me so emotional. It's a beautiful poem. Thank you. Oh, you're thank you, Patty. Yeah, you know we 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 shrink a little bit, don't we? <laughs> yes. I was I was just extrapolating. That's all I was doing. Mom, you're just gonna get tinier. <laughs> John, John, great I reading. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. I I miss you, and miss I you love too. you, and I love your words. Thank you. Yeah, we can't hug right now, MK. That's against the rules. <laughs> I know. I know. That's all right. Happy Anderson, I second that. I really missed our get-togethers. Yes, me too. <laughs> Yeah, me too. The last three people who talked are John groupies. <laughs> John, I'd like to um, I'd like to salute your leaping imagination. Um, the poem about your mother uh, is so original and so different, and I loved the God poem. That was fabulous. I just really. I, where you get all this, I don't know, but your imagination just takes something and takes off into the distance and uh, tags us along with you. It was the, both of those were particularly wonderful. So thank you very much. Thank you. Um, that means a lot coming from a con devout Christian, number one. And, <laughs> and number two, um, I read that when I was giving a bit of a reading with Jim Chagru, and I finished that poem and, and Jim just looks over at me and goes, God, when you run out of stuff to write, there's always blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I thought he had me pegged at that moment. Probably still does. Well, thank you very much, John. I, I thought it was great. And I agree that you got us to come along with you. I know you did me. And the more you went, the more I got into it. Well, so, you, thanks. You, you're a guy who belongs on Monkey Island, Tom. That's not a hard sell. <laughs> I'd be right there with you. <laughs> we do have a couple of questions from the chat. Uh, first one from Citizen Dave. Will you release a chat book of the lost monkey poems? Oh. 
You know, I don't, uh, that's the answer. I think the answer is a, a, a solid no. <laughs> about a private chat book? <laughs> right. Um, it's, I, 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 there's plenty of great writers in this room who can write in a series. And um, I, it's a struggle for me. And then everything starts becoming modulin, modulin, excuse me. Um, monkey steal a golf cart. Uh, <laughs> Monkeys, monkeys train, try to train the dolphins. I don't know. Oh, mo <laughs> monkeys fight with lobsters. There was one. Yeah, anyway, see? It's <laughs> Wait just one minute. Is Citizen Dave Jarecki? That's Jarecki. Let him identify himself. Yes. Mm-hmm. I thought that too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think that's called harassment. Is that like um, throwing things at like yeah. tomatoes? Yeah. It, which is what monkeys do. They throw yeah. stuff. Yeah. There he is. Hi, Cherokee. Hi, Hi, Dave. Hello. <laughs> Look, you're on now. You can say Whatever. hi. Whatever. Okay. It's good to see we, your face. We, we want the lost monkey poems, John. Um, you'll have to check with my literary executive. No, he wants the lost monkey poems. I, no, have, you... uh, I have copies of them, so. Oh, last day, you do want the Lost Monkey poems. You are, they're perfect for you. Um, There's one more request. Uh, if, if you would be willing, uh, I think we have several people who would love to hear the mammoth poem again. Oh, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll just open up my copy of Monkey Island. Oh, there we are. After the heist, we can drop by the gloomy little bakery, step into the soft aromas and pick up a dozen macaroons, pink. Sit on a stone bench outside the Museum of Natural History, count our loot into the high 300s, and I can ask how you feel whenever you see the skeleton of a woolly mammoth the bones tea stained to a shiny, rich mahogany. Puzzled, amused, empty. A woolly mammoth with a big bony dome crammed with all our smarts and kindness could be a first rate friend once we've run her through the car wash a few times. Close your eyes, little sister, close your eyes. We'd never be cold at night. The whole family wound in the deep pile of her pelt, asleep in the oceanic swells of her husky breathing and dreaming austere tundra dreams, gentle with any talk of extinction. No one takes the topic well. When we can't keep enough cereal in the house, can't make nearly enough popcorn balls for her snacks, we'll lead her by trunk to the breath of the Zumwalt Prairie, the vast grassland, into quiet contemplation and sear winds. She'd browse and amble and fit in out there, eyed from the distance by wolves, just like at home in prehistory. And that's exactly what's gonna happen. That's the plan. <laughs> Get mammoth. Peter loved mammoths. He was a member of the Mammoth Nation. Mm. Um, well, I'll get going, but I want to um, I want to thank you for your for your good wishes, and I feel you. I feel you know. I know that we're just cold electrons, but I do feel you very much, and I hope you feel me too. So, um, peace, everybody.
Thank you for the invitation. Thank you everyone for coming. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. It's quick. Wonderful. Yes, thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Signing yes. off is kind of sad. <laughs> it is. <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks, John. Good to see you. Thank you for that. It was amazing. Well, thank you for joining us. It was unbelievable. It was, he, he made me cry a couple times. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And um, it was just like, I, I happen to be somebody who loves Zoom readings. And yes. this is one of the best ones I've been to. And so thank you so much. It was a fantastic thing to get to do. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Good night. Good night.